Blessed day, my people. So in today's video, we're going to talk about the pastor man who we seen in a video, basically saying some stuff about Auntie Dana. He finally made a video and addressed that whole situation. You understand? But no one is the video when he might talk about Miss Dana fat and this and that. And this comes after this same pastor here, Kerry Gullibop, at Miss Dana house. Now he's making it clear, said so the video, our long time video. You understand? He might actually explain himself in this video, my people. I'm going to play the video. But separately from that, we're going to talk about Shana chin or shana controller making a post and this post goes for persons who are saying like negative stuff about her in relation to gullibop you understand me i say it seemed like she's out to file well she never said she gonna file a lawsuit but if certain things don't stop then it seemed like that is what's going to happen you see me also i gotta talk about gullibop instagram page making a post as it relates to certain things being said about the entertainer on youtube or maybe facebook or instagram just in general so what about that right my people but before we're gonna further into the topic don't forget for like share and subscribe also head over to my instagram page mix up time four but i definitely appreciate that right my people all right before we get to what this pastor man had to say in relation to miss dana let us actually talk about the post that shana controller made on her instagram page right my people so let's get to that post right away so you can see it on the screen so i'm going to read what the post is saying so it's a press release myriad of disparaging I Shana Controller, well, August the 21st, 2023. I Shana Controller, owner of Goddess Tone JA, have met with my legal team at Michelle Thomas and Associates Attorney at Law and have discussed my options in relation to the myriad of disparaging comments made by bloggers, members of the public, and even family members of Robert Lee Malcolm, otherwise known as Gully Bop. Let it be noted that from this date hereof, I will be instructing my attorney to institute legal proceedings against any person who by the way of any written or oral expression make any declaration that are defamatory in nature towards me i am requesting that all previous defamatory statements and our remarks be removed from all social media platforms within 24 hours i am a businesswoman with a growing brand and more importantly a mother as a result i must protect my brand and image at all cost and you don't know that is what she had to say, you understand? So she want all of the negative things, the whole the this and the that about her. You know, I mean, you can't have constructive criticism because I'm pretty sure you have persons where can say things and you can't really do nothing about it. But if you are going to make like defamatory remarks about her, then that is a different thing. You understand me? I say, we're not going to support that. Because we have to remember, so Shana Chin, I one of the first persons um, differently from the artist Zamunda for actually come out and say she give money towards Golibab. So we definitely have to big her up. We can't they say certain things about her. You understand? And we see she come and she cry tears and all of them things. So, you know, if if there are persons out there actually saying bad stuff about her, then this wouldn't be the right time because and I like she followed out and diss him up and say, yo, that man they ray and table me. You understand? She never really come out and say that. So I don't know, but I'm not sure if she's talking about bloggers like even me will talk or she's just talking about certain other people maybe over up on tiktok where i say certain things about her you understand me i say i don't know my people but anyway that's how shana controller had to say right um remember i'm telling you say gullibop instagram page did actually make a post as well right so let's get to that post right about now so the post states Danke said the world no level. A lot of you are making whole program from Gullibop visit to Miss Dana, especially since given permission to use his image. I've heard platform owners adamant that he should expire, and one person phoned Miss Dana in glee as she had made her hours on YouTube. There, there you have it. Although Gully received $10,000 from Miss Dana, that is it. Fuller story on Facebook page on his Facebook page, you see. So, if you want to see the full story, you can go over upon Gullibab Facebook page for actually see what is what, you see. My people don't know if you type in Gullibab or if you type in Robert Lee Malcolm, I guess you can check and only see what is what, you see. 
But yeah, my people at the end of the day, we just hope Gullibab get the help we need. I don't think the bag of negativity or the bag of this and that, it's not necessary right now. It's not the right time. You understand what I mean? say? Even if you have something negative to say about the entertainer, no, it's not the right time for do it. You have to just show support because sickness can fall at anybody's door. You understand what I mean? say? And we all can just want help from somebody because anybody can fall upon hard times. You understand my people? So let me know where you think about this. Now we're going to move on to what this pastor man had to say in relation to the whole situation. Is it my people? And, it, and that is the video was surfaced on the internet with this man dissing Miss Dana and stuff like that. So let us get to that video right now and me catch you know at the end of it. Is it my people? Watch this. So ever they doing to me now is already prophesied to me that it will happen. They call me the devil. <laughs> They call me all kind of names because I'm trying to do good. No, this this stuff you see going around on social media that I went to Auntie Dana with Gullibop trying to seek some help for the man. Right, because listen, I'm in my Airbnb up Cherry Garden relaxing. Honestly, I was just relaxing. Everything to my comfort. I wasn't stressed, I wasn't hungry, I was okay. I was relaxing. When I drive down, I say I'm gonna stop and check Gullibab. So when I stop and give him a check, I saw him not so good. I give him some money, I leave. I come back and check him again. I say, yo, I don't like you, look, brother, because I'm a, I'm a man of the Lord. I said, this man look like he don't have much time to live, to be honest now. He's sick. He's not getting the proper care. I said, I'm going to take it to Auntie Dana. I'm going to reverse the story. I'm going to take it to Auntie Dana. Meet me here at 6 o'clock a.m. tomorrow morning. Because you don't have a phone. I'm going to leave the story right there. And I'm going to backtrack about the social media stuff that they have me going out with Auntie Dana. This video you saw me cover with the sheet halfway. It's over three, almost three years now. <laughs> Almost three years since I made that video. How I get in this? I went to Auntie Dana. I asked her. I went there on three different occasions. The third time was with Gullibab. But when I call her on the phone one day from where I'm at right now, I said, Auntie Dana, I am appealing for someone to help me with a large piece of tarpaulin that I can start church because I wasn't a pastor at that time. Praise God. The Lord called me, but I wasn't a pastor. I'd like you guys to share this for me right now, please. Because I want to get this message out here to clear it up. Amen. I'm even going to, I'm not going to say what I'm going to do because there's an interview that I do today in the, in the, in the Star newspaper. She's coming out soon. And there's some other different, different major, 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 major media. I'm not talking social media, major media outlet that call for the story and the stories out there. I love Auntie Dana. I tell you, I love the woman of God. I love her. I'm telling you. What I say to her is real. I'm not a hypocrite. Straight up, I'm not a hypocrite. The Lord chose David because David is a man of his honor. We all, we all get into misunderstanding before. The Lord called me and he said to me that, the Lord called me. Praise God. I'm not going to discuss what, what we, me and the Lord, been through. But what I'm here to tell you about, the situation with the video going around with me talking things about Auntie Dana. Yes, that is me. Yes, I said all those stuff. But where this stuff is coming from, I call her program, Auntie Dana. I would like, if you can make an appeal for me because I need a piece of tarpaulin. I don't need no money. I just need, if someone can donate me, a large piece of tarpaulin that I can start church. Because the good Lord Jesus has called me I call in to do healing and deliverance in ministry and I can brag about Jesus I can I, I'm like Elijah Elijah called all the Jezebel prophets and say listen come let's do this so I I have the anointing I have the, listen I don't want to be here seem like I am bragging but I do have that kind of anointing right now the Lord have elevated me to war in the heavens in, in, in I don't do a warfare on her just on her. I can go in the atmosphere to do warfare in the realms. But anyway, that's not what we are to discuss. That video when I asked Auntie Dana for the for the assistance with the tarpaulin, 
she said and Tidana says in her own word i love her very much she said that i don't want to tell any lie but bottom line she she's not gonna help yeah, yeah she say god tells her not to help to build no church if i'm wrong i'm wrong but that's what she tells me it's you know these things these things is there you know she said god says she must help to build no church because like people too fraudish in church i don't know what if whatever whatever it is so as a young convert i wasn't a pastor i feel offended and i take it to the wrong level by carry on and when i mean like it was about eight thousand of them gang me up now saying all kind of things about me i must put scandal bag over my face i am a false prophet i am wicked i am that i mean like you know the might listen god said we must love the world the world is not for us anyway I love Auntie Donna. So no matter what anybody want to say, I love Auntie Donna. We, I love her because she's a human being and she have a heart. Everybody have a heart act up somewhere sometimes, right? But what didn't what did make me feel upset with her at that time, which I no longer upset with her, is when she said to me that I must... Uh, she God tell her not to help build any church. So I did kind of upset about that so and with all the negative stuff people say about me i don't delete no one comments it's still there on my page so with all the negative stuff that people say to me i go on my page now and i just start to vent how i feel so that's how i made that video and i i could delete it i leave it there right so now when this when 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 i bring gullibop there now to her i didn't bring gullibop there so i can get any benefits or anything i bring golibab to auntie donna because i want her to help golibab so when she when i bring him now she said people don't send me no money for golibab because i don't want any mix-up send it to the pastor that's how i get involved into this stuff i try to help the man by bringing the man to auntie donna and say help the man Amen. Help the man. I did listen. I am I am okay. I am a warfare general. I cannot suffer. The Lord bless me all the time. That is the thing. I work for Jesus. You know how much people come to me for prayer. Even this morning I'm in South Africa on phone warfare and breaking down walls, tearing down Goliath, doing stuff. When I finish that, I gotta tear down some stuff. I go to another person's house, everybody now start to cry. I don't play. I hey listen, they call Jesus the devil, they call him all kind of names you walk out to be a servant of god you will see how the world will treat you so do not gang up on a servant of god when everybody's turning against him because when they put barabbas and judas out there if you if you turn against me now it's as if you say crucify jesus and gave us barabbas because the lord said you without sin cause the first stone so i hear people on social media saying that i am um, me a can artist me a me a me a, me a stammer and me a thief First thing I want to ask people, what do I steal from anyone? Do I steal a socks, a shoes, a wallet? What do I steal? If you're going to charge me for stealing, if you're going to charge me for, for, for a scammer, what do I scam? What do I steal? That's the point. So how can you, how can you convict me of stealing and what is, what do I steal? But you're going to sentence me for stealing, but you can't say, what do I steal? Brothers and sisters, you are talking all right my people so what do you think about this man honestly i'm not gonna be one of the persons them on the internet we're gonna diss up the brother here. you understand me and say the man make it be known what is what and it's not like say don't know we perfect anyway here's it but at the end of the day it is up to miss dana if you say whether i'm not sure does make what this man says slide you see my people miss dana is definitely a nice person even though i don't know her in person but you know be a things when i say she do for people you can tell she have a good heart you understand me and say holy people try to rise up against her but obviously she overcome all those obstacles because she's still there and she, a lot of persons still love her you understand my people so we're just there for me to see what's going on only can tell me anything about this situation in the comment section and that's about it anyway people thanks for watching the video don't forget for like share and subscribe bless upon yourself until me drop the next video i'm um, oh don't forget for head over to my instagram page mix up time 4 i'm out